Hello everyone, and today I'm going to be testing the limits of the creative motor and the creative motor. So right here I have a creative motor. So this creative motor, of course, doesn't require any energy to run, and it defaults 16 RPM. And I'm going to keep it exactly like that. So the goal of this video is to test just how much speed, and both slow and fast, as well as stress, this thing can handle. And I'll keep it, of course, on the 16 RPM defaults. Let's begin with fast. So if I do this, notice if I put a speedometer here, it's 16 RPM. If I put it here, it's 32. So each time I do this, the speed doubles. It's 256, 512. All right, I think we may have reached the maximum. 256 is the highest we can go. See, it's not letting me place anything more. Yes, it's the highest it can go, 256. It's a shame I was hoping it could go faster. Alright, now onto the next step, which is how slow can it go? If I do a small gear and then a large gear, this is 16 RPM, this is 8. The main question I want to see is can it actually go below 1? Can it go to half an RPM? And this is 1. This is 1 RPM right here. So this is now half of an RPM. I see it's gone from slow to none. I'm going to see just how much I can slow this down. If you look, this is still very slowly spinning. Check the speed, 0.125 RPM. So since it shows up to two decimal places, theoretically I could still make it to 0 0.6, 0 0.3, which uh, I can just staring at my screen here, and I can see the pixels slowly moving. So this is still technically going. This here is running at 0 0.01 RPM. It's the slowest thing I think it will be able to do. You can't even see it, but it still says it's going. But how stressful can I make it? Just how stressful. So, the thing with the stressfulness factor is that these gears and belts don't really contribute any stress to the, to the uh, system. Stress occurs at maximum speed. So I'll once again get up the creative motor at standard 16 RPM, and then max out speed and another thing I'll put here is the stress stressometer which measures how much stress is there is in the circuit and if I or the system if I add more crushing wheels it's 245 left so it's definitely going up but what do you even use crushing wheels? But this the goal of this video is to find out what crushing wheels are used for. It is to make the creative motor jam. The creative generator with infinite power. I will get it to jam. Much better. What I wonder what will happen when the creative motor jams. Oh, it's still going. Stressometer. So now 52%, and I think I'll start putting crushing wheels out this way. Otherwise, I run the risk of losing everything else because of render distance. Now this is getting quite dangerous, 80%. 96. Gonna add them to it. 97. 99, okay. I think one or two more will do it. So what you're looking at here is the maximum amount of stress one a create motor can, ha can handle, and that is getting shifted up to the maximum speed. Let's do it. What? Perfectly stressed. But, it's at 100% and it has zero stress units remaining, probably because they're both powers of two. But, let's add one more. Overstressed. 